Ah yes, the new era of tall phones is upon us. The LG G6 showed us the way, and the Galaxy S8 is following suit with its own tiny bezeled extra tall screen. Carved out of metal and glass, the two phones share many features, especially when looking at them both in black. The dividing line here is the Galaxy S8's aggressively smooth and rounded facade compared to the rather hefty LG G6. The way the Galaxy S8's curves flow around the phone may look great, but the G6 actually has something on the sides you can hold on to. That's a real plus. The Galaxy S8's display is marginally larger, but you can't even notice. These phones are nearly the same size in each dimension. And look, Samsung even has the same superfluous rounded corners on its display as the LG G6. Samsung has gone with its tried and true AMOLED display here, which is more colorful than the LG G6's LCD, but I think both look fantastic. Inside, the similarities continue with many specs shared between the two phones. The Galaxy S8 wins the processor battle with the newer SoC, and also offers 64 gigs of storage and wireless charging in all models around the world. But the LG G6 manages to have a 10% larger battery while also putting its fingerprint sensor in a very sensible location and fitting two cameras on the back. In terms of software, this is just going to be personal preference at this point. Both Samsung and LG have started to move towards simpler, cleaner interfaces that actually get a bit closer to Google's material design. And once you go through the process of downloading some apps, installing a launcher, and maybe switching keyboards, they both operate very similarly. For many, it will come down to brand recognition and price. Samsung wins the former, and LG wins the latter. This is a battle that will continue throughout 2017 as we explore the finer points of these two phones. To follow all of our coverage in the Android world, be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube, but also follow the rest of our coverage on AndroidCentral.com.